Let me start by giving you a very scary statistic. Over 400,000 websites are hacked every single month. 400,000. That is a frightening amount of websites. Now, let me give you some personal experience. Earlier this year, when we had the BRICS vulnerability, I had several Blueprint sites all set up. Now, they weren't being used for anything other than storing my setups. So obviously, I didn't have major security and things like that on there. When that vulnerability came about, I found I had a few issues with a couple of those Blueprint sites that I needed to sort out. Now, I tested several different tools to enable me to find out if those sites had been compromised. Most of them didn't come back with any real useful information. So I went over and tested Malke, the totally free version of it. Didn't pay a penny for it. Never experienced it before in my life. That picked up on each of the sites that had a problem, which allowed me to find out where the problem was and easily rectify things. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at what Malke offers us. We're going to take a look at the free and we're going to take a look at the premium features. Now, Malke have sponsored this video, but as always, I'm not going to give you any opinions whatsoever. I'm simply going to demonstrate how this works. You can make a more informed decision for yourself based upon that information. Now, let's take a look at those key features that Malke offers. Now, what's important to know here is that Malke have been in this business for 12 plus years and they've protected over 400,000 websites. So they're not new to the market. They've been doing this a long time. So we've got things like malware scanners, removal, a firewall for WordPress, bot protection, an activity log, which could be incredibly useful if you want to see if your site's been compromised and you want to see things that you know you haven't done, an activity log could be really useful. You've also got a vulnerability scanner, WordPress backups, and atomic security. So I would recommend taking a look over this and seeing all the different options that are available, what's included in the free version, the different plans, and so on. I'm not going to go over the pricing side of things because this is prone to fluctuate. But what I will say is check out the description down below because there's a nice little discount for you there. So if you want to save a little bit of cash on using this, you can do that. Use that there. Pretty cool. OK, so once we've seen what is on offer, let's see how we go about setting everything up and checking our sites. So first things first, we can sign up for an account. You can sign up for a paid account or a free account. It's up to you which way you want to go. I've already done this and confirmed my account. So I'm going to just simply log in. And this is your dashboard. Now, your dashboard is going to give you an overview of any of the sites that you have installed. And if you go over to the site side of things, you can see this will list any or all of the sites you have. Let's open this site up. And let's go and take a look at our security side of things. So as you can see, this gives us an overview of everything. So site, firewall, monitoring, all those kinds of things. Now, I've got the paid account here. So you're going to see some features you may not have access to if you're using the free account. But as you can see, I've got a site installed on here. It's showing me all the information about it, the various different layers and so on. So this is going to be what you'll get when a site has been running for quite some time. But let's go and add a site in so I can show you how easy the process is and how everything works when you add a new site. So to do this, we'll come over to our sites section and we'll click on add site. So now you can just drop in the URL that you want to use. I'm going to use a temporary demo site, but you can use your own actual live sites. We'll click continue. And now we have two ways in which we can operate. If we want to, we can simply drop in the username and the admin password, and we can do this remotely. This is great if you're working on client sites and you don't necessarily want to log in and install plugins and so on. You can do it this way if you want to. Alternatively, you can manually install this on any site and just install the malware plugin. Let's go and take a look at how easy that side of things is. And if you want to, you can simply drop in the username and password, whichever you prefer. I'll just download the plugin. And then all we need to do is choose to upload the plugin, choose our file, upload the Malcare plugin and open, and then we'll install that and activate it. Once that's done, we are good to go. We can then go back to the dashboard inside Malcare itself, and we can make sure the site is connected. All we need to do is click Test Plugin. That will then attempt to connect to the site and make sure everything is working. And as you can see, plugin connection successful. Let's initiate the sync. And now this is going to go through the three key things, the ozone layer, the cortex layer, and the carbon layer. This is going to test various different things. Now, again, depending upon what plan you have, you may not have everything that I've got here. So just bear that in mind. But once this is finished, we can then see if there are any problems on the site itself. And there we go. After a few minutes, everything is completed. It's gone through the different processes. And as you can see, we have a problem. We have a site that's either infected with malware or it's been compromised or hacked. So now we can take a look at what the problem is and see how we can deal with it. So if we take a look underneath, this tells us the site has been hacked, 
There are two malicious files found and one malicious script found. Everything else looks pretty good. The firewall and everything is all up and running. All the things are working on there. If we scroll down, you can see there's all the information that's gone through with those three different layers, the ozone, cortex, and carbon. And each of those has various different options enabled. Like I say, some of these are only available in the paid version. But if we scroll on through, you can see this will give us information. The ozone layer, for example, is where our firewall is. And as we get various different attempts to access our site and maybe try to compromise our site, access our login and so on, information will be displayed here to show us exactly what's going on globally on our site. Again, our firewall rules are all in place. Now, your firewall is something you're going to get inside the free plan. So you're going to have access to a lot of the things that are here. A firewall alone can be incredibly useful. Bot protection, so we can stop those annoying bots like the Google bot and so on. We can see exactly what's going on there. And login protection, so this is something I would always recommend you have set up. Things like two-factor authentication, they're all important to make sure that you can have all those security things in place. There's one key thing to take away with anything to do with security. It's not a one-size-fits-all. There are lots of different components that help you secure your website. Okay, so now if we take a look at the Cortex layer, this is where we can find out that something's gone on. We've got a hacked option. You've got total hacked files, total hacked scripts. So what we can do now is we can review that malware and see what has been affected. So let's review it. Inside there, you can see there's three different things that have been affected. Two files, a JavaScript file and a PHP file, but also there's been malicious script found inside the database itself. If we want to, we can view those files, we can view the script, we can deal with what we need to hear. We can also choose to clean the malware from inside here. So this will then go through and attempt to clean all that malware and tidy any problems up. We can come back out of this though, and we can say clean all malware from inside here as well. And before we deal with that, let's scroll down a little further. We can check our vulnerability scanner, and this is going to check for things like outdated plugins, outdated themes, those kinds of things that can end up easily being compromised when there are known issues. So this is going to tell you what you need to update, what versions, and so on. And finally, you've got your malware cleaner, which is basically what we've got up here to clean all that malware. And then your carbon layer, which is for your backups and your activity logs. And then finally, you've got your advanced monitoring for your uptime. So let's go and deal with that malware. We can choose to clean the malware from here, or we can come up to the top here and we can say clean it from here. So let's just say we want to clean the malware. So now we say pre cleanup checks, advanced options, there's updated security keys, reset the password for four users, and cleared the cache. Now, if we click on continue, this is now going to go and check our site and make sure everything is as it should be, deal with any cleaning cleaning files, scanning files, and so on. So we're going to let that carry on doing this for a few moments. Shouldn't take too long because it's a basically a simple site, but we'll let that run and see what the outcome is. There we go. After a few moments, you can see this is telling us now that we've got a site cleaned successfully. The site has been cleaned, which site it is, and we can view the report for that. So this has gone through. It scanned the files, cleaned the files, decrypted the database data, and cleaned the database. So let's check it out. Let's click on that view report. And this is now going to tell us all the things it's done. We can see we've got the file actions, which being cleaned. We can view those if we want to. We've got the database script that's been deleted and everything else has been dealt with for us. So now everything should be nice and clean. So if we go back to our site, if we go into our security and firewall, everything now is coming up as being clean. So what we could do is if we want to, we can run this again and just make sure that we're happy with everything. So you can see we can scan this. So there we go. That's the scan complete. Everything is now coming back as clean and those issues have been dealt with and our site should now be nice and clean. So now we have peace of mind knowing that we've got a nice clean site. And then we can use this to monitor, to check our site as things are ongoing to make sure nothing actually happens. So if you want to do things like harden your site, which I would highly recommend you do, things like two-factor authentication, those kinds of things, put those in place. All these different levels of security make your site more difficult to hack. Before we wrap things up, let's take a quick look at the different plans that are available and what you get based upon the free plan versus a paid plan. You can go between one site and 10 sites in this example. So let's just keep it to the one site for now. So the free plan includes one or 10 sites, real-time firewall, login protection, daily malware scan, scan frequency of 24 hours. So every 24 hours, it'll do a scan, vulnerability monitoring, You'll have the uptime monitoring with a one hour interval, which can be, again, very useful. If your site goes offline, you'll be notified and centralized updates and community support. So even the free plan gives you peace of mind in various different areas. So if you want to put this onto your site, that is a nice, clean site. At least you've got those things running in the background. 
Then if you want to upgrade and you want those extra features, or you've got a site that has been compromised and you want it to be dealt with and have that malware and so on removed, you may want to take a look at moving up to one of the paid accounts. So the same thing, you've got the one site, you've got the real-time firewall, login protection, but you also have bot protection. You've got your daily malware scans, vulnerability monitoring, and instant malware removal, which, like I say, we've just seen how easy it is to deal with that. Uptime monitoring with 15-minute intervals, so on more mission-critical sites, this will check every 15 minutes as opposed to every one hour. Then you've also got an activity log, incremental backups, one-click stage insight, performance monitoring, one-click migration. So you've got a lot more inside here. If you want to test things out on a test server, you can use this for staging and so on. Then you've got your site updates with centralized updates, automated updates, and safe updates. So handling how you update things. And as you can see, we've got even more options then as we move on. So I would recommend taking a look at the pricing, taking a look at the options that come with those prices and see which is the best option for you. But like I said, even the free plan is worth installing just to have that monitoring and everything in place to give you that little extra bit of peace of mind in the case that anything goes wrong with your site. So that in a nutshell is what you get with the various different plans when it comes to Malke. If you want to check out the WP Remote, which I covered recently, which is the same company, which all integration to the same dashboard, you can check out that video here. As always, all applicable links, including that discount code, are down in the description down below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.